Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here and welcome to another episode of Aaron's Art Tips. Uh, today I wanted to try something a little special. In about four to six weeks, I'm going to be releasing uh, a new course on character design. As some of you may know, I've been in the animation industry for over 27 years. For 21 of those years, I was with Walt Disney Feature Animation where I worked on Beauty and the Beast, uh, Pocahontas, Aladdin, The Lion King, um, uh, Mulan, uh, Brother Bear, a whole bunch of different films. Um, and along with being a, a, an animator, supervising an animator, I was also a character designer for several of those films. So I thought it might be kind of fun to, to put together into a course, a full course, um, kind of everything that I've learned over the years regarding character design. One of the big things I want to do in this course, uh, it's going to be multi-tiered. So I'm going to take you through realistic anatomy, um, all the way through caricature and design, rendering, all that kind of stuff. But today I just finished a, uh, a lecture on noses drawing noses, realistic noses. Like I said, I want, to, I want to cover realistic anatomy to begin with because I want the, the viewer, the student, the person watching this course, I want them to understand the real world anatomy, how the body, figure, the face, expressions. I want them to understand how all that works first in reality. And then we're gonna go into another section where we're gonna abstract it, we're gonna caricature, and we're gonna have fun creating characters. So, um, like I said, today I just finished up a new lecture on drawing the nose and I thought it might make a nice Aaron's art tips. So, uh, I hope you enjoy it. This will give you a little flavor of what the whole course will be. It's going to be a multi-video course. It's going, to, uh, it's going to be at least 10 to 12, maybe 15 videos long. Um, and uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and get into drawing the nose. Uh, a lot of people struggle drawing the nose. It's kind of a complex little organ sitting on the front of the face. And so I just want to take you through very briefly um, kind of the anatomy of it, just so you understand what's going on underneath the skin. And then we'll just talk about some of the basic shapes and, and uh, you know, how to see it in different, in different viewpoints. Now, obviously, if we were to caricature it, there's a lot of different ways we can portray it. And just like the other features on the face, the nose is, you know, the nose comes in a lot of different shapes and sizes and all kinds of different things. But I'm just going to show you a, typ a typical nose, how it's constructed, and then, uh, then we'll have some fun with it. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and get started. So here uh, you can see I have, um, I've already pre-drawn a little skull that we can have some fun with and draw over the top. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this opacity back. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, this nasal bone. Now, you know, you know, obvious, obvi all of us have seen people that have kind of that big hook nose, the Roman nose, all of that. Well, that's because of this bone right here and then the cartilage coming off of it. If we were to draw a person with one of those noses, you've seen them before, it comes up and then the nose comes down and you get that kind of shape to the nose. Well, this is why you've got a bone that comes down and this is actually the nasal bone right here that comes down and there's a little split in it. And sometimes some of, some of you might be able to feel if you feel right along the bridge of your nose and push down kind of hard, you can feel that it separates a little bit underneath there. And that's what this is here. And you'll even see that if, um, on other skulls. If you look at, you know, cats and dogs, they all have that same, you know, that's one of the things I love about comparative anatomy is going from human to animals and, and from animal to animal, just seeing the different, how the different bones have adapted and changed their shape from species to species. So this bone right here, it's the same on other skulls. If you look at them, it's just shaped differently for us. All right, and then as we come down, We've got cartilage that comes off of that, right off of that bone. You feel, you can feel if you, you know, push down on your nose up here, it's really hard. And then here, this is where it starts to get really flexible. Well, that's because that's cartilage. And so that cartilage is going to come down and it splits. It splits just like the, 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 uh, the bone does. It's got a seam right down the middle. It comes down. I'm just lightly going to draw this in comes down like so. Okay. Okay. Now from here, we've got another bit of cartilage, two pieces 
that come out, and that's this piece here. If you look over here, I'm going to draw this in, and it's got a seam right down the middle, and it comes down like so, and it goes in underneath right into the septum here. Okay, there's your piece of car cartilage there. All right, now that's going to feed into the nostril. So I'm going to draw this nostril in. There's the septum coming in. And then here, the nostril itself will come down. Kind of comes in like so. Like so. Now that nostril, to me, feels a little bit big. So I'm going to pull that back. Because once again, they come in all shapes and sizes. So you can just do whatever you want, kind of, as long as you're following these, these shapes. Okay? So we've got cartilage here. Cartilage coming down here. And then here's your nostril. So that basically, you end up, I'm going to draw a very basic shape. You're going to end up with maybe a break here. Now, granted, some people have straighter noses, so there's not always a break. But you got a, I'm going to draw a break coming down. That kind of comes to a point there. And then you've got, there's kind of a, a, an angle change here that comes back. And then this comes down so that you're getting this shape. Like so. And if I were to put some light on that, and then that kind of comes in right in there, like that. Okay, but there's your that's a basic shape right there. So if we were to um, if I was to throw some light on that. Just give it a, a basic color. There's a basic color right there. And then here, I'll show you what would be in shadow. So if light's coming down from the top, we're going to put that in shadow. This would be a little less a little less lit, like so, okay? And then here, I'm going to catch a little bit more light here, more light here, definitely more light here. And then you might catch highlights there, here, catch a highlight there, and so, so on. Okay, so there's your basic shape right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and there's our layer right there. I'm going to knock that back. I want to knock that one back a little bit and then just draw right over the top of it so that knowing what's underneath, really all we're drawing is a nose that comes down. And once again, keep in mind they can come in all shapes and sizes. So you end up with something that looks like that. Like so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, color this in. So you can see what I'm thinking. Like so. That's how it would sit on that skull. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of shadow to show you how that shadow might look. Now let's imagine the light is coming over our right shoulder. So I'm going to push this just slightly coming into shadow over here. 
under the nose will go into shadow and that nose will actually cast a shadow underneath onto the lip the upper lip underneath okay and it gets a little dark in here and then because of the fat of the cheek you get you usually get a nice hard shadow right in there and there might because of that cartilage break that cartilage break that we have in the middle you might get a little bit of a shadow there like so sometimes and I'm just gonna just barely 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 hit that like so now on top let's go ahead and I'm gonna give it a little brighter so thinking about where that light is coming from this will be a little brighter and because we got that remember we got the shape coming down like there so maybe that's going to catch a little bit of light it's like so now that we know now that we know that structure we know where to put our lights and we might catch a little extra light in here this will be nice and lit like so that's a little harsh there we go we can soften that up because We've got tissue that covers up that separation. And that's going to come in like so. All right. And then if we want, we can go, you know, because the nose tends to be fairly greasy. It puts off um, nose grease, as we've all experienced. And so there might be a little extra light coming, you know, a little catching a little light there. Maybe catching a little light in there. And definitely right along this edge like so and a lot of times because of this plane change down here you'll catch there we go we'll catch some nice light coming off of there so you can see thinking about what's happening underneath thinking about that structure thinking about that cartilage that enables us to create this nose. Let's go ahead and draw it from a couple of different angles. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and uh, I already demonstrated a little bit of, you know, thinking about the profile, but let's go ahead and uh, let's draw a profile. Just thinking about that. So once again, if I, I'm going to draw from the inside out. I want to go over the bones and the cartilage one more time. So if we draw this from the side, you've got the nasal bone that comes down like so which connects like so, and then it comes into, this is called the nasal spine of the maxilla. But there, anyway, so there's our, our opening right there. So if I knock that back, once again, let me blow this up a little bit. Let's think about that cartilage again. So we've got cartilage that comes off of here, okay? And it's going to come down. This will come down in here. So this is a piece of cartilage here, which then feeds into the nose here. The, uh, the, uh, the cartilage down on the end of the nose, which is, it's, it's called the greater alar cartilage. So that comes down here. That's going to come underneath. And then that nostril tends to come in like this. And you've got that, that where it comes down and around like so. And this kind of curls under like so. And then this will go into the mouth. Okay. So, once again, knocking that back, we can draw this coming down. Get that nostril. And notice how in the profile, a lot of times that nostril kind of opens up here and this folds on under. 
this part of the nostril that's close to the face. And then you don't necessarily have a hard line right there. Okay, I'm gonna knock these back a little bit more. Okay, so we, now we've got, we've got a nose there, remembering where all that understructure is, like so. So once again, if I want to give it a little color, I could come in here. Actually, I'll go a little lighter with it. And we come in here. Like so. Okay. And then once again, thinking about where that light source is. And let's think about it as being a light source from above. Once again, I would, oops, let me make this multiply. There we go. I would... You know, think there's a plane change in the nose right there. It's going to cast a shadow coming down like so. And you might have a little bit of darkness in here and there like so. And then here we can brighten that up. Like this. Like that. Definitely along in here can catch a little bit of light along here, along this top part of the, the upper lip there. And remember, I was talking about this catching some light right along in here, like so. And then if we want to add a little bit of highlight, you do something like that. there we've got you've got a nose that's how we've built it out of the skull once again let's talk about that structure I'm going to repeat myself and let's do something a little more simple it's going to come down come out I'm thinking about a plane change here and then a nostril this comes down there's the center Maybe we should catch a little bit of nostril on this side. Okay. So think about that in very simple, very simple terms. If we look at it from the front, there's your break in the nasal cavity right there. This is going to come down. Coming like so. You've got this part of the cartilage that comes in. And you've got your nostril. Like so, and down into the septum in here. And then this all spreads out, like so. And once again, I like to draw that plane change, this one right here. If we drew the nostril, it would look like that. So if I come in here, There we've got a little, you can cast a shadow coming down like so. If the shadow was, the light was coming from the top. And then if we wanted to, we could get, whoops. Got a little light there, light there, light there. There's your nose. Now, what if, what if the light was coming up from underneath? Well, let's do it on, on this one that we drew over here. Let's color this guy in. And just always think about where that light source is coming from because you can get a nice effect. You know, if that light, light source is coming from underneath, well, maybe this is going to be brighter. This area here, well, it will be. I'm not saying maybe. It will be. This will be brighter underneath. And it could even illuminate a little bit of the nostril inside. And then we would end up, oh, I'm gonna keep this in here. Then we would end up with a little bit of some shadow over the top. This is not gonna be hit by direct light. So this will be in shadow. 
I might get a little bit back in there. So this would all be in shadow. Maybe that, the upper brow would catch light. Okay, so think about where that light source is gonna be coming from when you're lighting your characters. Okay, how about we draw, we'll draw it from profile and a little bit underneath. I'm gonna think about it from different angles. So here, once again, thinking about, there's the break in the nasal cavity. That nose, the, the cartilage is coming that, down that way. Now we're gonna see more of the nostril under here. And it'll come around. We might even see some eye, a part of the eye there. Let me actually move this so I can draw a little bit more. So if, we, if I draw this plane, this plane change right there, that plane change now is gonna look like this as the nostril comes over, because we're looking kind of underneath the nose now. We're looking underneath like so. So everything is kind of going this way. Here's the brow, the brow comes up. Everything kind of comes this way. We've got the eye, like so. And actually, I would probably move that back just a little bit, just to set that into the skull a little bit better. There we go. There, you can get eyelashes coming out like so. Just think, of, I'm thinking about the perspective. The perspective is all going up in that direction. So I wanna, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping everything in perspective. What if we, we go even further underneath the nose? Let me, uh, so why don't we do one, this is a difficult angle and some, a lot of people have trouble with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. So if we're looking way up the nose, well, let's say we have a center line. There's the bridge of the nose coming here. There's a brow coming up. You'll see what I'm drawing here in a second. There's the brow going this way. Here's the bridge that's come down. And then all of a sudden, let me get rid of that a little bit. We're gonna see a little bit of this cartilage coming down, but the biggest part of the cartilage we're gonna see is this part here. And it comes in into the septum underneath, like so. Right, just like that. And it's gonna come around, and then you're gonna get a nostril here. The nostril will come back here. And it tends to thicken up as it gets close to, the nostril tends to thicken up as it gets close to the, uh, the cheek. And here I've gone a little bit big with it. I want these nostrils to be relatively close in size. Okay, there. And then this will come down and you'll get the whole shape of the lip coming around like so. So your face is here, and the face is coming back around like so. That, you know, we're looking right up the nose. So once again, we're just thinking about, imagine, imagine looking up that way, thinking about, you know, think, think about these as you're drawing them. Don't think about a flat drawing that you're drawing. Put your mind in the space that you're creating. Noses are complex shapes, and so you really gotta kinda put your face, or put your face, you gotta put your mind right into that space that you're thinking about, okay? And we'll get a little look right up the nose, like so, okay? And keep in mind, remember, noses, you know, you can do the long, with the little tiny little thing at the bottom. Maybe a little nostril. Something like that. You can do the crooked, you know, fighter's nose with a big nostril, like so. 
you know, maybe, maybe it's just a nice, a perfect little, you got a perfect little, you know, just a tiny little nose. You know, they come in all different shapes and sizes. So there you go. That's drawing noses. Remember, think about that cartilage just so you understand what's happening underneath and you can think about that, that triangular shape that you have on the, on the front of your face. Um, once you get a sense of how that's all put together and thinking about it in space, don't think about it as a flat object, but thinking about it in space, then you'll be able to create them and draw them on the face a lot more easily. And now the other thing I'd like you to try is, you know, now that I've shown you these proportions and how the cartilage and everything works, go ahead and try it out and try different, tr push the proportions, change them around and see what you can come up with. All right. So, uh, those are noses.